Hello everyone, today we will discuss getting the standard equation of a circle. We are done answering problems 1 to 5 so we will have problem 6. We have here center 5 negative 6 tangent to y axis. Let us plot that one first. 5 negative 6 since that is not in the origin we will be using x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equals to r squared our h is 5 and our k is negative 6 now our r is still unknown since we have the center here therefore our circle is in this portion when you say tangent to the x-axis our circle here touches the y-axis in one point so here I will be considering this point so we'll just count the number of units from the center to that point of the circle we have one two three four and five therefore our radius here is five we can now substitute the values x minus our h is 5 quantity squared plus y minus our k is negative 6 quantity squared is equals to 5 squared remember that negative times negative is positive and 5 squared is equals to 25 so this is our final answer problem 7 Considering the same center, but this time it's tangent to x-axis. Again, we'll plot the center, 5, negative 6. Since it's not in the origin, we'll be using x minus h quantity squared. y minus k quantity squared is equals to r squared. Our h is 5, our k is negative 6. Our r is still unknown. Our circle is in this portion, and since it's tangent to x-axis, the circle should touch the x-axis in one point. So in this portion, I will be considering this point here. Now I will count the number of units from the center going to that point. So we'll have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Therefore, our radius here is 6. We are now ready to substitute x minus 5 quantity squared plus y minus negative 6 quantity squared is equals to 6 squared. We'll rewrite this one. Again, negative times negative is positive. And 6 squared is equals to 36. And this is your final answer. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.